Botnet. A botnet is a number of internet-connected devices, each of which is running one or more bots. Botnets can be used to perform DDoS, distributed denial of service attacks, steal data, send spam, and allows the attacker to access the device and its connection. The owner can control the botnet using command and control CNC, software. The word botnet is the words robot and network. The term is usually used with a negative or malicious connotation. Botnets have become one of the biggest threats to security systems today. Their growing popularity among cybercriminals comes from their ability to infiltrate almost any internet-connected device. To better understand how botnets function, consider that the name itself is a blending of the words robot and network. In a broad sense, that's exactly what botnets are. A network of robots used to commit cybercrime. The cybercriminals controlling them are called botmasters or bot herders. To build a botnet, botmasters need as many infected online devices or bots under their command as possible. The more bots connected, the bigger the botnet. The bigger the botnet, the bigger the impact. So size matters. The criminal's ultimate goal is often financial gain, malware propagation, or just general disruption of the internet. Cybercriminals use botnets to create a similar disruption on the internet. They command their infected bot army to overload a website to the point that it stops functioning and or access is denied. Such an attack is called a denial of service or DDoS. Botnet infections. Botnets are not typically created to compromise just one individual computer, they are designed to infect millions of devices. Bot herders often deploy botnets onto computers through a Trojan horse virus. The strategy typically requires users to infect their own systems by opening email attachments, clicking on malicious pop-up ads, or downloading dangerous software from a website. After infecting devices, botnets are then free to access and modify personal information, attack other computers, and commit other crimes. Ad fraud Cybercriminals can use the combined processing power of botnets to run fraudulent schemes. For example, botmasters build ad fraud schemes by commanding thousands of infected devices to visit fraudulent websites and click on ads placed there. For every click, the hacker then gets a percentage of the advertising fees. Compared to other internet malware, the unique feature of a botnet lies in its control communication network. Most botnets that have appeared until now have had a common centralized architecture. That is, bots in the botnet connect directly to some special hosts, called command and control servers, or CNC servers. These CNC servers receive commands from their botmaster and forward them to the other bots in the network. All bots, including both client bots and servant bots, actively contact the servant bots in their peer lists to retrieve commands. Because servant bots normally do not change their IP addresses, this design increases the network stability of a botnet. This bot classification will become more important in the future as a larger proportion of computers will sit behind firewall or use DHCP or private IP addresses due to shortage of IP space. Botnet prevention. It should be clear by now that preventing botnet infection requires a comprehensive strategy, one that includes good surfing habits and antivirus protection. Update your operating system. Avoid email attachments from suspicious or unknown sources. Avoid downloads from P2P and file sharing networks. Get antivirus software. Don't click on suspicious links.